Divers with Suncoast Reef Rovers are celebrating 16 years of cleaning up the jetty. SNN's Crystal Knowles has a closer look at what they're finding. From the surface, the water looks inviting and clear. But once Greg Vines from Suncoast Reef Rovers hits the water, it's a whole other world. The biggest things we find here that are the most entrapment oriented for wildlife and for other fishermen, I mean their fishing gear, is the cast nets and the cast netting and all of the bait catching paraphernalia that fishermen will use. Wendy Chris, probe coordinator of Keep Sarasota County Beautiful, says the long term partnership has helped the on land cleanup team really make a difference. Thankfully, the reef rovers are able to help us recover all of that trash and litter from, from under the water. But only experienced certified divers help with these cleanups. You know, one, two, three feet of visibility, which is still all we need to clean up. You can help keep the waterways clean and the wildlife safe by casting your used fishing lines. Vine says fishing lines and hooks killed wildlife both on land and in the water. On one of his dives, he found a fish in distress. He was fluttering around this particular hole, but he was not leaving. He was attached to the hook still, and he had been attached to that hook for a long time. Vine's advice to beachgoers. Mind your trash. Don't throw it in the water. Don't throw it on the beach. Don't put your cigarette butts in the beach and then cover them up. Everyone should help protect the environment. This is our one big blue marble that we have, and this is Spaceship Earth. In Venice, Crystal Knowles, SNN Suncoast News Network. Keep Sarasota County beautiful invites the community to join the Great American Cleanup from 8 to noon on April 16th.